Sometimes there's just things that you're born to do. And it was my destiny to make guitars. Most larger companies don't have that founder slash guitar builder involved anymore. As we started approaching this particular uh, time, juncture in my life, where I'm starting to think about succession, I realized that what I didn't want to leave behind was a corporation that makes a lot of guitars but doesn't have a person that you could name who is the wellspring of the guitars. And so I, I began thinking about that being a problem that needed to be solved. Without that person who is really has a, a real vision for what the guitar is going to be, you end up kind of getting a guitar made by a committee. And that committee might be heavily influenced by marketing, salespeople, finance people, you know. I really want one person that knows what the guitar should be. So it went something like this. Dear God, I need one guitar maker who's a good guy, who could make a lifetime commitment, who's a better builder than I am, uh, who's a pro player, who is self-taught, was born to do it, Right? Figured all this out on his own because that person understands it more deeply than someone that's just been taught. Um, who knows the history of guitars, which is something I don't know still to this day, but I think it's probably important for the future of our company. You know, it'd be good if they had 20 years of experience and it would be great if they were less than 30 years old. And so, and, and everything that I just said now, I actually wrote down. And put it away and I don't know, a year went by, a little more than a year went by. And through a chain of events, I ended up spending an afternoon with Andy Powers. talk about the next 40 years here because we've completed 40 years but we're not waiting 40 years for Andy's improvements to come the next 40 years already started and the things that Andy has contributed already to Taylor Guitars are monumental and they're coming down the pike really fast to me that's the thing that I can offer the customers that we have and the new customers that are coming is someone who as much as they love guitars Andy loves them more. I feel uh, like the next generation is going to see some of the best guitars that the guitar industry has ever made, and that Andy is going to be one of the most important guitar figures in the history of guitars.